Haven't done one of these in a while. I have decided I need a new pal. I need one a little hot taller and a little thicker. I still like this one because of the movement it gives, but I need something else. At any rate, we're going to practice some sixes today. Sixes, if you're not familiar, are when you break the target down into head, torso, leg. I only actually have two targets on this, so I guess I'm practicing with fours, but bear with me. Head, torso, leg, right? So you might call it one, two, three, four, five, six. And then when practicing it, you might shoot for one, and one, two, one, 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 three, one, four, one, five, one, six, and then two, one, two, two, okay, two, three, two, four, two, five, two, six, and it starts getting you used to using your body to strike in a different place on the body you can. Uh, I'm going to practice with it with two hands. Um, and just kind of move around a little bit. So the other thing is, you know, when you're practicing your sixes, get used to moving on your 45s. You know, you don't want to just stand and yeah, you really can hit the perfect slat shot when you're standing up and you're measured and you're ranged and you check your distance and bam. But if it's a lot harder, uh, we start from out of range, then you slide in, you know, you do your slide step to see if you can catch that wrap. Right? So, anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to work on my right hand and my left hand, and then kind of switch. In no particular order. I'm just going to move around my different six patterns. Slow is fast, fast is smooth. Doing slow work eventually makes everything fast. Make sure your body mechanics feels good and everything feels right. 